It has finally happened. Russell Westbrook, it's now official. The press conference was held. He is officially a Houston Rocket, and I am going to tell you why it's not going to matter and why him and James Harden, the beard, will never win a championship for the Houston Rockets. I'm going to tell you right here, right now, as you've entered the sports opinion log here in Lex Anderson world, I'm Lex Anderson. So if you're down with all dang sports talk and NBA action and free agency signings, wheelings and dealings, you're going to do the right thing and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now, finally, the video I have been waiting for since 2012 when Oklahoma City lost in the NBA Finals to the Miami Heat. Yeah, you know what this means. The prophet is coming out. And I had said it and I had decreed it back in 2012. I said that Oklahoma City would never win an NBA championship. And my words have held true. Okay? It's not about the ball handling between Harden and Westbrook and, you know, all these stupid compu stats. It's what I talk about time and time again with every video. Thankfully, in the press conference, I got to see Russell Westbrook holding up number zero. But this time, it's in crimson red, the Houston Rockets. So now I don't have to deal with those ugly-ass Bleacher Report fake ass news memes because it's official now but it's what i've said before and i say it again it's about the character of a person and westbrook he turns out i thought he would be the last man standing in okc but it turns out he's like every other nba player in today's generation he's a bandwagon bitch just like everybody else. And I have to marvel at the workings of the front office, of the general managers who've been able to move these max and super max deals. Westbrook to Houston to rejoin Harden means one of two things. One, there clearly was internal strife. There was clearly dissension between CP0 and the beard. That's why he had to go. Number two, Westbrook. <laughs> You're going to sell me some bullshit that Westbrook and Harden are going to actually win a championship, something they couldn't do with Kevin Durant? You're going to have me believe that in his press conference, talking about sacrifice, that Westbrook has what, it's, has what it takes? Don't be fooled to quote Jay-Z like I say every time. Hove the rock. No matter where you go, you are who you are, player. And Westbrook, the athleticism, the attitude, the sneer, the dunks that threaten all humanity who's nearby when he goes airborne, that's great for the regular season. But the reality is, if you don't know, that D'Antoni, Mike D'Antoni, their head coach, is not a NBA championship coach, championship winning. Hell, he's not even an NBA champion coach. You can ask the Knicks. You could ask the Lakers. You could ask the Phoenix Suns. Hell, you could ask the Houston Rockets. Mike D'Antoni, he doesn't have the mentality. He doesn't have the knowledge. He doesn't have the intelligence. All he does is work these Tricky, newfangled offensive plays that don't hold weight when it comes to the NBA postseason. When the lights shine the brightest, what will you be remembered for? And all we will remember currently until things change is that Russell Westbrook had what? Two, three first round eliminations. Harden had a chance to eliminate the Warriors and still got ousted minus Kevin Durant. Give me a break. What kind of sacrifices am I to believe that Westbrook is going to make with Harden when he didn't even make the necessary sacrifices to keep Durant in OKC? He had had it up to here with Westbrook and his selfish ways of play. But Westbrook reinvented himself. He became Mr. Triple-Double. 
He kept OKC in the playoff hunt, but they couldn't even get past the first goddamn round, despite him sacrificing. And look at how it ends. Westbrook should have stayed in OKC, but now it is Steph Curry who is the longest tenured player with a team approaching 10 years with the Golden State Warriors. It's the end of an era, 11 years, one NBA Finals, no championships, nothing to show for it. And I wish, I, STG, wish they would stop sh- making these stupid compilations on social media. Oh, look at Westbrook's 10 greatest shots. Oh, look at Westbrook's 10 greatest dunks. Oh, look at Westbrook's, you know, most magnificent postseason plays during his 11 years. No one gives a F, man. Don't no one care about no goddamn stupid compilation plays. Who cares? He never won a championship with OKC. His time there was a failure, a big F. Because when he re-signed for the Supermax in 2016, he was supposed to be ride or die. But his girlfriend, Paul George, left him for another man, Kawhi Leonard, out there in L.A. with the Clippers. And so he runs up, knocking on the door to management. I'm ready to go. Can I get out of here? Can I play with my best friend? Can I play with my boyfriend, Harden? Look at all these power couples scattered out west. The Beard and Mr. Triple Double. The Claw and PG-13. Playoff P. And now you have LeBron and AD, but we know what it is. It's the Lakers who are going to rise to prominence. It's the Lakers who are going to be your 2019 NBA champs once they get rid of the 76ers who goddamn better make it to the NBA Finals because Kawhi's not in Toronto no more. He filled up on the Kawhi and Dine. He ate and he left. Thanks for the parade, suckers. Thanks for the parade, losers. KD and Kyrie, they're not playing next season. The Sixers have a clear path to the NBA Finals. The only thing that could keep them from making it is their own self-destructive tendencies or behaviors. And you best believe when it comes to self-destructive tendencies or behaviors, you got the best player in the entire NBA landscape, Russell Westbrook, with Harden, the beard, reunited, never felt so good. Or will it really feel good? Or will they suffer another lackluster postseason failings? Because you see them, like the Clippers, it's NBA Finals or bust. It's NBA Championship or bust. Westbrook has to get out the first round. No ifs, ands, or buts. No doubt about it. Can they coexist two MVPs? It doesn't matter. They've shown you their body of work by who they are. I know most sports fans don't care about that because your eyes are caught by the glitz and the glamour. Just remember, all that glitters isn't gold. (laughs) Crimson Red, Houston Rockets, OKC, Oklahoma City, the chapter has closed. The prophet had decreed it, and it's official. Dame Lillard, Dame Time will go down in NBA playoff history as making the shot that literally destroyed a franchise. Please, let's not talk about OKC rebuilding. They are done. They are now a viable wasteland where you will use to dispatch players that you don't want with high contracts and hopes and trades for some draft picks or players that might get drafted, rise to all-star status, and then leave. Okay, C, it was nice knowing you. Lex Anderson? (laughs) Yeah, Laker Nation, baby. You already know what to do. Drop a comment below. Special shout out IGTV. You know what it is. Signing out.